go around and open that up. Gotta find where that is outside the house. Open it up. Let me go ahead and put these back up in place real quick. So, as I'm looking around down here, really the only area that I'm seeing so far of any concern um, is just the around by the AC unit dripping and creating a condensation. I'm looking at these joists um, where the dude was saying this is like the start of white mold. I mean, I'm not so sure, you know. I don't know what white mold's supposed to look like. That just looks like the side of the piece of wood to me. What do you think? Huh. I'm gonna keep moving, keep looking around. We got some other spots where uh, water has come down and just kind of sat. So I think um, a dehumidifier would definitely work down here. It would be beneficial. So look around a little bit more. stuff was just kind of stuffed into place but got this broom with me so I can try to get away any uh, cobwebs or anything I see but looking around some more I mean, you guys can see this is dry dirt a little bit of condensation there a little bit here and I walk I've already walked through that area around over in this corner and not much going on one thing I want to check while I was down here is you know activity of spiders and the, the centipedes that we've been seeing but I'm not seeing much of anything really yeah I'm not exactly sure what this uh, insulation is supposed to look like but it to me, it does look a little bit moist. Um, oh, there's a centipede right there. That's the first one I've seen. Let's get him down. There he is. So, just check around some more. Working our way over here. Make sure we don't have any cobwebs here. This AC system. I really don't see any leaks, you know, around here. Obviously, 
Um, this is just wet from the, from the broom, but that's not new condensation. Let's get rid of these cobwebs. this insulation back up a little bit. Okay. All right. See a few couple cobwebs over here, nothing too out of the norm. We'll get rid of that. Water. Water system for the house. It looks like I gotta double check that vent over there. Open that up. Right, let's get rid of these cobwebs. Again, looking around around the bottom. No issues really. Got a little bit on the wall here. Um, looks like a little bit of condensation, but again, looking at the floor joists. I don't know if that's, you know, what he's talking about as far as this, the start of, uh, he called it white and brown mold. Like I said, I'm just, I'm not seeing it. Let me see if I missed the, you know, on that down, but looking at the underbody, not seeing any real moisture or anything. The back side of the, um, insulation here. No mold growing on the paper. I'm gonna set my phone down, go ahead and put this back into place. Looks like it's appears to be a little wet through here. But again, could just be absorbing a little bit of the condensation and falling down. This has been down here for a while, so it's flattened out. Let me see if I can hang this back up. Oh, I got another centipede. Right there, so that's only a couple so far. Right. Let me push this one back up first. Look, you can see moisture right there. No, that's, that's really dry. Actually, looking at the wall, seems like you got a little bit of moisture, especially over there, and then over there. Not sure what the concern level of that would be, or if that's just from water from the outside. Let me try to get this one lifted back up. Take a shower after this. A couple spiders here and there. So, just looking up close around here. Okay. Like I said, 
to me, it doesn't seem concerning, but I'm not a professional, so. Looks like this strap came off for holding this up. I'll come back. I'm not sure what this is supposed to hold. Has some springs in it. But I'll come back out and uh, hang that back up. It's going to keep moving. And looking at the floor again, um, it looks like dried up moisture. Dried up there. A little bit fresh there. <laughs> Again, I think just coming back under here with a, um, and installing a dehumidifier will fix a lot of the concerns. Another good thing, I'm not seeing any um, mice or snakes under here. Here's a close, closer look at the wall. Poor Joyce again. Yeah, I think the, the angle of the light actually makes it look like it's lighter on the one side whenever you do this makes it look like the bottom portion um, is a lighter color but whenever you swing underneath looks normal so come back over here again just some more moisture around where the AC stuff is. Oh, somebody left something up there. Um, but none of the pipes here are dripping or leaking. That I've seen. That's from this winter. Here's part of the AC unit. You guys can see that water droplet there. But nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy in my opinion. You guys can hear the AC running. Um, again, this is obviously, you know, got some condensation. And I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to pull away most of that. I don't even know if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna post this video online, see if I can get any opinions from uh, from anybody in the industry. What is this here, is this mold or is that just glue from when they glued this up? So if somebody in the crawl space industry has any suggestions, again, just slight standing water, but I think it's honestly just from the AC unit. Is this supposed to be condensating like it is? Um, is our best bet, shit. Is our best option um, to just put a dehumidifier down here and uh, a way to route the water um, back on the outside of the house. Because the guys were quoting like seven to $10,000 to do a crawl space encapsulation. Obviously, obviously that's a lot of money. Um, and we don't have that saved up. We'd have to finance um, 
that just seems like a lot to me. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, I know this video isn't related to anything else I do on the channel, but I need to get this posted and um, get some opinions. So, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for your time, and uh, hope you guys have a good day.